How's it going, Frizz? Pete here. Just uh, wanted to take a moment of your time to tell you about a app that I think is awesome. That if you have a smartphone, I very much encourage you to download today. It's called Cell 411. We know that some police employees will take your camera, destroy the evidence, or even your device, which is why streaming apps like Bamboozer and Livestream, which came out in 2007, were so powerful. It meant that you, from your phone, could capture the objective record of an event and have it streamed off-site. Cell 411 takes that a step further. Not only does it enable you to film the police and stream it off-site, it enables you to connect with trusted people. And that, that network, having that network ahead of time before an emergency happens, is crucial. Cell 411 is available both on iOS and on Android, and it's free. The past couple years, I myself was very excited by an app called Peacekeeper, uh, which encouraged you to become a force for good in your neighborhood. Peacekeeper definitely had a great vision, the people behind it are good people, but unfortunately the app never uh, really delivered uh, as promised. But Cell 411 has stepped into that void. In fact, the creator of Cell 411, a gentleman named Virgil, who's active in Ohio, noted that it was the promise of Peacekeeper that led him to recognize the need and spearhead the development of Cell 411. So what does Cell 411 look like? Let me give you an example. Right now, I just pulled up Cell 411 and if I press my icon right away, I have a number of options that I can choose from. I can, I can stream right away, I can say my car broke down, I can say there's a police activity, and with any of these options, uh, if you send out an alert, for example, uh, police arrest, stuff on fire, I am cop blocking, whatever you choose to say, once that alert goes out, you can, you can choose which cells, which of your networks it goes to, whether it's people in your town, people in your area, your colleagues, your friends, family, however you choose to uh, assign your contacts into which cells, they will be able to respond, say, I'm on my way, and if they choose to indicate that they are coming to your aid, they'll be shown a map with turn-by-turn -turn directions. After that alert goes out, you'll be prompted and it'll say, do you want to start broadcasting, which means live streaming? You can say yes or no. If you start live streaming, it will go to the devices of people that you just sent the alert to. Also, once you download Cell 411, in addition to receiving alerts from trusted friends and neighbors that are already in your cell, you can choose to go on patrol mode, which means you're willing to accept alerts from anyone within a given radius, and you can select the radius between zero and 50 miles. There's a quote from Buck Mr. Fuller that I think is really applicable to this conversation. He said, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. I think that's so true. You and I and others who recognize the violence inherent in the police apparatus know that we can't remedy and fix that and make the police employees accountable uh, by passing new policy reforms, by getting them to wear body cameras or any other of these uh, false promises dangled in front of us to distract us. Instead, we need to look after ourselves and other people that we care about, and that's why Cell 411 is so powerful. It enables you to do that. I recognize this video is mostly me just expounding on my love of Cell 411. Hopefully that nudges you at least a little bit to investigate the app a bit further. Virgil, the creator of Cell 411, will be speaking this weekend at Liberty Forum the annual event that happens in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. I plan to chop up a video that will include some of Virgil's speech, so be on the lookout for that. Appreciate your time. Get cell411.com. We'll get you hooked up. Peace.